Welcome to another lecture by Medical Medics, Genetics Chapter 11, Pharmacogenetics. In this lecture, we will talk about pharmacogenetics, so mention some key concepts, talk about pharmacogenetics and drug response, adverse drug reactions, continuing down to pharmacogenetics and personalized medicine, and end with a summary. Now, pharmacogenetics is the study of how an individual's genetic makeup affects their response to drugs. And the goal is to optimize drug therapy for each individual based on their genetics. Relevance to reduce adverse drug reactions, to enhance drug efficiency, and to guide personalized medicine. So pharmacogenetics studies how your DNA affects the way medicines work in your body like customizing a treatment plan just for you. Some key concepts are drug metabolism, so enzymes break down drugs in the body. Genetic variations can make enzymes either too fast, so ultra-metabolizers, or too slow. Another concept is pharmacokinetics, so how the body absorbs, distributes, metabolizes, and excretes drugs. Another one is pharmacodynamics, so how drugs affect the body, influenced by genetic differences. So essentially, your genes affect how quickly or slowly your body processes medicines and how well they work. So some variations in how drug metabolism is affected. For example, cytochrome P450 enzymes, CyPCs. This is a family of enzymes responsible for metabolizing most drugs. Common CYP genes include, for example, CYP2D6. It affects painkillers like codeine and tramadol. Another one affecting blood thinners like clopidogrel. CYP3A4 metabolizes many drugs. What is the impact of these variants? Well, poor metabolizers increase drug toxicity. Ultra-rapid metabolizers will reduce drug efficiency. For example, codeine is converted by, uh, to morphine. Codeine is converted to morphine by CYP2D6 enzyme. And poor metabolizers experience little pain relief, while ultra-metabolizers risk overdose. So some people process medicines too slowly or too quickly because of their genes. So this can make drugs either too strong or not work at all. Now let's briefly mention a little bit of how genetic testing could help us adjust medications to make them safer and more effective. For example, warfarin, which is a blood thinner, depending on these genes, the variation will affect how the drug is metabolized and their sensitivity to it, so we can adjust doses based on their genetic setting. When we talk about antidepressants, so if you have the gene SLC6A4, which is a tra uh, serotonin transporter gene, the variations of this gene will influence the response to serotonin to selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like fluoxetine. In cancer drugs, for example, you have the gene TPMT, and variations in this can affect tolerance to drugs like mercaptourine. Now, adverse drug reactions are unintended harmful effects of medications that occur at normal doses used for treatment. And they range from mild side effects like nausea to severe and life-threatening reactions like organ failure or anaphylaxis, etc. So certain genetic variations affect how individuals metabolize, respond to, or tolerate drugs, leading to a higher risk of these adverse drug reactions. So for example, the HLA-B gene which plays a key role in our immune system recognition, some variants predict hypersensitivity reactions. For example, we have HLA-B5701, right? 
and this is linked to severe allergic reactions to the drug abacavir, which is an HIV drug. And this causes hypersensitivity syndrome to this drug, which can be life-threatening. Another example is the CYP2C9 variant um, or enzyme. So this enzyme is a liver enzyme that metabolizes warfarin, which is a blood thinner. And the variants, different variants of this, like CYP2C92 or 93, slow metabolism which increases bleeding risk due to excessive drug accumulation. So understanding genetics, uh, genetic links to these adverse drug reactions allows for very personalized, uh, very personalized type of medicine where drug choice and dosing can be tailored to an individual's genetic profile, which would of course improve safety and efficiency. What about pharmacogenetic testing? So what is it? It's a genetic test to identify variations that affect drug response. How it works is we collect a DNA sample from blood or saliva. We analyze genes associated with drug metabolism and response. The application? Naturally, we can tailor treatments for cancer, heart disease, mental health, and more. For example, genetic testing for CYP2C19 can guide the use of clopidogrel in patients at risk for heart attacks. Now, as we've mentioned, personalized medicine is tailoring treatments to an individual's genetic profile. Some key benefits include fewer side effects, better efficiency of the drug, improved patient outcomes. So the idea is to use your specific genetic information to give you the best treatment possible, like building a custom-made suit. Some challenges in pharmacogenetics include scientific issues like limited understanding of rare genetic variants, the complexity of the gene-environment interaction, ethical concerns like privacy of genetic information or risk of genetic discrimination, and of course in clinical implementation, so the cost of genetic testing and integrating genetic data into medical practice. So it, is a, it has a great potential but challenges like cost and privacy, etc., need to be addressed. What does the future hold? Where upcoming trends include combining genetic data with AI to predict drug responses, expanding pharmacogenetics, testing to a m more populations, developing more targeted therapies. Potentials include transforming healthcare with a safer, more effective treatment, reducing healthcare costs by preventing these adverse drug reactions. Examples could be AI tools used to analyze your entire genome to recommend the best drug treatment for you. So in summary then, pharmacogenetics explores how genetic variation affect drug response. Genetic testing helps tailor medications to individuals, improving safety and effectiveness. Applications include cancer therapy, heart disease treatment, and managing mental health disorders. Challenges include ethical ones, cost issues, integrating genetic data into healthcare systems. So pharmacogenetics is about matching the right medicine to the right person using DNA, making treatment safer and more effective. That's the end of this lecture. Continue now to chapter 12.